I didn't call it the McConnell method. So to get it clear, um, what happened was I was to give a paper at a conference and I was pregnant with my first child and I couldn't give the paper because I was having the first child. So somebody else gave my paper at the sports medicine conference and they coined it the McConnell method. So when I did my MNIPS course, I thought it would be very interesting to look at patellofemoral pain. In those days it was called chondromalacia and I did some study on that and looked at the fact that the patella in all cases was moving laterally and that was causing the problem. To begin with was holding somebody's kneecap as they were going up and down the stairs and that took away their pain and I thought hmm, this is quite good but you can't actually go home holding someone's patella. They need to go home without you hanging on to their patella. So I looked in the cupboard and in the cupboard was tape. And the only reason it worked was it was old tape and old tape is more sticky. So I put the tape on and it took some away the person's pain and that's how it started. So if you like it was called serendipitous. Tape is only a part of the whole treatment program. So tape is an adjunct to your treatment. It helps you maintain treatment changes. But the most important reason that I use tape would be to unload someone's pain. If it doesn't help someone's pain, then it's probably not worthwhile doing. You should get an immediate benefit. So when someone, when you've taped someone, they should get off the table and feel much, much better. So I'm aiming for 100% improvement. If I don't get that, I keep going until I do get 100% improvement. What I'm doing with trying to change pain is I'm shortening tissue. So when you shorten tissue, it takes the tension off it. So when you're looking at soft tissue, mostly when it's been inflamed, it doesn't like being stretched. So if I shorten it, that will help. Every physiotherapy course should be teaching people about pain. And pain is something that if you don't understand as a physiotherapist, you won't do very well. I think we can't stop people from developing ideas and doing things if we have to wait for the science and if we have to wait for the science to catch up. Science is good, but there's also an art in physiotherapy that you can't measure how someone communicates with their patient, how good their feel is, their touch is, and we should never underestimate the importance of the art of physiotherapy. Walk down my